Microsoft just updated the Edge browser, and with it came a lot of new AI-powered co-pilot features. And the ones that I'm gonna show you right now are all available for free. You don't even need a paid account. I think this is pretty powerful, and if you haven't checked out Copilot by using the Edge browser, I think you should. All right, let's jump in and we're gonna check this out. But if you're new here, my name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We have a daily live stream podcast, free daily newsletter, helping everyday people learn and leverage generative AI. So I'm gonna quickly show you five uh, kind of new uh, AI features, but also some new ways that you can use Copilot AI. And that's kind of what we do here every day on this AI in five, a roughly five minute video to help you uh, learn and leverage generative AI. So I will uh, leave this link uh, so you can read a little bit more about what's new. Um, so a couple of the new features I wanted to talk about. Uh, one is let's let's do this, um, how you can now create your own browser theme, which I've actually never done. And I said, all right, let's do it live. Uh, so all I had to do is describe the theme you would like to create. And I'm going to say a futuristic AI city with cute little robots. All right. Hey, everyday AI, that sounds like something we'd like, right? Uh, so now it looks like it is going to create an entire uh, new theme, which presumably is going to be uh, different colors, uh, a background image, uh, et cetera, to give this uh, kind of bland default uh, here within Edge a little life. And if you don't know anything about Edge, it is actually based on Chromium. So all of your Chrome extensions, your, your passwords, bookmarks, you can bring it all over, which is really cool. All right, so now, uh, okay, it looks like there's a couple different options here. I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one and click apply theme, let's do it. Bam, just like that. All right, so now I'm assuming if I open a new tab, there we go, pretty cool. Uh, all right, I didn't know they had ads here uh, on, on, on the new page, but not bad, this is pretty cool, right? Uh, just generated an image, I guess, but uh, hey, I like it. All right, so that's the uh, number one new feature. Uh, the next one I want to talk about is there are some new updates in kind of the uh, prompt hub, right? So if you go into uh, Microsoft Copilot, to go to the correct, uh, the correct one here. Uh, so let's just go to copilot.microsoft.com. Okay, and you can use Copilot here. I'm also going to show you the new and improved and updated uh, Copilot sidebar as well, which there's a couple things I really like in here. All right, so here's, uh, you, you know, they essentially put in some new and different uh, prompt libraries, which if you're brand new to AI and you don't really know, hey, how should I get started? Copilot seems cool. It can do all these things. This is a great way. You can literally just click on one thing. Uh, so I'm going to do... Uh, gosh, I don't want to do a country song. I don't like country. Here we go. So uh, for this, you have to have a Suno plugin enabled. There's not many plugins like how we used to have on ChatGPT, uh, but essentially I can go here in my sidebar. Again, more on this in a second. Click this little plugins, and I have the Suno plugin. Uh, it's enabled now. So I should be able to click this. And this is essentially this prompt library. It's just to get you started. So I can literally just click this. It shouldn't take very long. I do have a free Suno uh, account, but I don't even think that, oh, we lost our, give me a second here. We lost our, our screen. We lost our screen, y'all. Let's bring it back. Um, there we go. Uh, so just like that, we are getting ready for, um, for this. And I actually have to, sorry, give me a second here. I have to share the tab. Uh, so you can hear, uh, I might not, I might not even be able to, to listen to this, unfortunately, but I'll let you know, uh, if it works here. So, uh, it looks like it's almost done again. If you haven't, uh, heard of Suno, we actually had the CEO of Suno on the everyday AI show where we previewed some of their new features. Uh, so let's go ahead. Let's see if we can listen. Okay. So it's almost done. Oh, wait, it might be done. I think I have to click listen. Let's listen. All right, I actually had to move my my microphone, so hopefully you could hear that. All right, so uh, that's this. The next update is just the improved 
uh, prompt hub. And again, those are just simple prompts to get you started. All right, here's a new update. And I think this is brand new. I haven't seen this before. So now let's move over to the Copilot sidebar. All right, so this is great. So if you don't know the sidebar, and this is one of the reasons now I love using Edge. Yes, Microsoft has an amazing browser based on Chromium, which is Google Chrome. So all your Google Chrome stuff should transfer over. Uh, so all you have to do here uh, for this one, I love this. So I'm going to go ahead. Let me go back here. So this new thing, I, I haven't seen this before. It says suggest questions about this page, which is just a really cool way. So if you're trying to learn something, uh, you know, maybe you don't want to think like, oh, how can I prompt with this? So right now it's just suggesting different questions that I can ask um, about the website. So yeah, if you are brand new to the Copilot sidebar, uh, essentially you can have it running um, and summarize any page without having to leave. All right. And that brings me to one of the new, uh, one of the other new features uh, which is new copilot directions. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and show you kind of what that means. Let me go ahead and refresh here. Um, so this right here, look at the bottom right now. It says use relevant sources. What that means is it'll use everything. It might use this web page. It might just use Bing. It might use anything, right? It might use the GPT knowledge base, right? So this is based on GPT four. Uh, so what you can do now, this is new. I haven't seen this yet is you can either do this page or this site. So let me show you the difference. So this page has always been an option. I haven't seen the this site yet, and I'm stoked for that. So let's go ahead and do this. So let's just say, uh, does Jordan, that's me, does Jordan like perplexity? Okay, so this is the show that I just did today on perplexity. And you can see there's a ton of information here, right? There's thousands of words on here. It's a transcript of like an hour long podcast. And you'll see because it's just using this page, it says, yes, Jordan Wilson, the host of Everyday AI Podcast is a big fan of perplexity. He often highlights his efficiency and usefulness, especially for saving time on research and finding detailed information quickly. Yeah. So it, I, it, I asked it a question just on this site that's been there. This I think is new. So I do love uh, kind of these follow-up questions that pop up now, but now I'm going to say, I'm going to use this site and I, instead I'm going to say what's new in perplexity. All right. So now what it should do, hopefully this works. Uh, so it's using the web, but I think it is only going to be using my URL of your everyday AI.com. All right. So perfect. It looks like it's worth it. It looks like it's working. So it's going through now and it's looking at all the different times that I've mentioned perplexity on the website, which is really cool, right? Uh, because I read about it in the AI news. I've done a couple other shows loosely, re uh, loosely related to perplexity. Uh, so you'll see here, it looks like it went on three different websites. I could ask something more specific, but just right there, that is an amazing new feature. Think of all the different ways that you can use that. Maybe you spend a lot of your time every day on an industry, on a certain industry website or a competitor website, not having to find certain things, but just asking questions about that website really cool conversationally. And again, you can do this iteratively so I can keep going and I don't have to like reprompt. I can just be like, Oh, what about this on this website? And it'll keep going the same thing. All right. Last but not least, this isn't new necessarily, but this is just fun to do. So here you go. Someone reached out to me and kind of pitched me on, you know, I get so many cold emails. I never reply to them. Uh, but this is something, I don't know if you knew you can do this. You can just literally pull up your email uh, in copilot, uh, click this, say this page, uh, and I'm going to say, say, I'm going to say nicely say, no, thanks, but go ahead and pitch them. If they want to hire me as an AI consultant, <laughs> funny, right? Yeah. If you cold pitch me, who knows? I might cold pitch you back. So what's cool right here is, uh, you know, this person reached out and they're trying to sell me some video services, whatever. And there we go. It's just, uh, it's saying, Hey, right now we don't need your services. However, how about we sell this to you? So, uh, a super simple way that you can use, uh, copilot and AI to even just respond to your emails. I'm in Gmail. I have a uh, Google workspace, so I don't even need to use Gemini. What's weird is I can't even get Gemini to read my emails. 
what's going on. But Copilot in Edge saves the day. Love to see it. I hope this was helpful. If so, please subscribe to this channel. Also, go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for our free daily newsletter, and we'll see you back for another AI in 5. And hey, let me know what you want to see next. Thanks, y'all.